So take a look at this. What does this look like to you? Well, to me, it looks like a tornado. And that's the big idea today. Today, we're going to take a closer look at tornadoes and hurricanes and see how they're similar and different. Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. You know, one thing that scientists like to study and predict is the weather. And some of the wildest storms out there are tornadoes and hurricanes. Sometimes kids get the two storms confused because they both spin, but they also have something else in common. Both storms need just the right conditions to form. Both of these storms, a tornado and a hurricane, can only form in an area of low pressure. Scientists have discovered that areas of high pressure generally bring really nice weather, sunny, clear, but Scientists have also discovered that areas of low pressure bring really stormy weather. And that's the perfect condition for tornadoes and hurricanes to form. So tornadoes and hurricanes both spin and they both form in an area of low pressure, but how are they different? So we're gonna now talk about the differences of tornadoes and hurricanes. And to do that, we're gonna try and make a hurricane in this bowl. But first, let's take a closer look at where hurricanes form. Here I have a map and the colored parts of the map show you where hurricanes form. What do you notice about our map? Well, the first thing I notice is that it looks like all the colored areas are happening over water. What kind of water? Well, the ocean. Most hurricanes are going to be forming over the ocean, but what part of the ocean? It looks like they're all forming in the center of our map. What's in the center of our map? It's the equator. And what happens at the equator? Well, that's the warmest part of our Earth. Now notice when big storms form in the ocean in this area, they're called hurricanes. When big storms form in this area, they're called cyclones. And when big storms form in this area of the ocean, they're called typhoons. Now they may be called something different, but they're really just the same thing. Big spinning storms that form over warm water. But remember, this is along the equator and that's the hottest part of our Earth. So the sun is beating down on huge amounts of the, all of this ocean causing this water to heat up and evaporate. It turns from a liquid to water vapor. And that water vapor and that warm air rise up over the ocean creating an area of low pressure and huge clouds. And those clouds start to spin. So we're going to make our hurricane in this bowl, but remember, hurricanes are hundreds of miles wide forming out over the ocean. They're massive. And we, the only reason we can see hurricanes spinning is because we see the clouds spinning. Scientists can take pictures and videos of hurricanes from satellites out in space. And what we really see are the clouds spinning. We're gonna see if we can make that same spinning effect, but we can't use clouds. We're gonna use red food coloring. So to make our hurricane, I need to get our water spinning, and I'm just gonna use a rubber spatula to do that. And I don't have to go super fast, just gonna put my spatula in and get the water spinning. Now I really can't see it spinning too much. I'm gonna let it calm down a little bit, and then we're gonna zoom in so you can see me really simply drop some red food coloring in the water, and we're gonna take a look and see if we can see our hurricane form. So now I'm gonna drop some food coloring in and see if we can see the swirling patterns happen. Now you can see the arms of our hurricane starting to form as the water spins. You can see the red food coloring or our clouds spinning with the water. That's exactly what a hurricane does, but keep in mind it's massive. We're going to be using this container to create our tornado, but remember, hurricanes are huge spinning storms that form over the warm water of oceans, and they could last for days. Now we want to take a closer look at tornadoes and see how they're different. So we said that hurricanes form over the ocean. Well, let's take a closer look at where tornadoes form. I have a map of the United States, and there's a part of our map on the United States that's called Tornado Alley. And it's called Tornado Alley because certain times of the year, it has just the perfect conditions for tornadoes to form. We have warm, moist air coming up from the Gulf. We have cold, dry air coming down from Canada. And we have warm, dry air coming over from the West. And when those masses of air meet, all kinds of weird things happen to the air. But it's important to point out that tornadoes are only forming over land. We're using this container to make our tornado because hurricanes could be hundreds of miles wide, but tornadoes usually are around half a mile wide. So we wanted to pick a smaller container. 
Now I'm going to try and make our tornado by spinning the water to see if I can form a funnel cloud of a tornado. Let's take a look and see what happens. Here I go. <laughs> Not much is happening. Well, that's because the winds in tornadoes are spinning much faster than a hurricane. Hurricanes, the winds might get somewhere around 150 miles per hour, but tornadoes, those winds could get up to 300 miles per hour. And for that, I'm going to need to spin this water a whole lot faster. To make it easier for you to see our tornado, we put our container on this light. Now remember, tornadoes spin faster than hurricanes, and I couldn't get the water spinning fast enough with that rubber spatula. So I have to use this blending tool to see if I can get the water spinning faster. I'm gonna stick this in, turn it on, and you're gonna see the water start to spin. And I want you to look for the funnel cloud of the tornado. It's going to start off really small and thin, but you'll be able to see the funnel. And as the water starts to spin faster, our funnel's gonna get bigger. Let's give this a shot. Here we go. Let's spin the water. And I can see the funnel cloud, the funnel. Take it out. And now I can see a spinning funnel that reaches from the top down to the bottom. As the water slows down, what happens to my funnel? Well, it disappears. And you can see the water spinning, spinning, spinning much faster than our hurricane. Let's get this going again. You can see it dancing around there. Now it's getting wider. I can keep it going. Pull it out. Now to help you see it better, I think I'm gonna add some glitter and let's see what happens. So I just added some glitter and you can see it, it's kind of in the clumped in the center of our still spinning tornado, but it's spreading out in the water. Let's see what happens when I get this stuff spinning. Look at what happens to the glitter. It all gets pulled into the center of the tornado. Pull this out. And you can see the glitter getting pulled into the center of our tornado. Really cool effect that really helps us see all that spinning water. This tornado looks beautiful, but in real life, they're super destructive, so, as well as hurricanes. And that's another reason why it's so important for scientists to keep studying hurricanes and tornadoes, so that we can figure out how to predict them before they happen. But that's also another difference between tornadoes and hurricanes. Scientists can predict hurricanes a few days out from them forming. Tornadoes, scientists are lucky if they can get 15 minutes warning before a tornado forms. If you want to learn more about tornadoes and hurricanes or storms in general, check out our links in the video description. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching. I think it's time for one more tornado.